Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we look at two energy storage ideas that could take green energy from infinity to beyond. Well, okay, the Toy Story writers may not have been genius mathematicians, but cheap, reliable energy storage is the holy grail when it comes to integrating renewable energy on a large scale into the grid. We checked out two companies working in the energy storage field. One uses heavy steel flywheels that store kinetic energy and the second is a battery storage system that's placed right in the community that can absorb energy when demand is low and release energy when demand goes up. The first is eCamion's Community Energy Storage Project which is being tested out in North York near Toronto right now. It uses a piece of technology that we're all familiar with, the lithium ion battery. So what we're looking at here is the uh, battery unit where all the battery modules are stored and uh, the unit has 500 kilowatts of power and 250 kilowatt hours of energy. Inside the cabinet is all the battery modules with, the different, with all the cells, over 1700 battery cells and we've integrated them into one package and uh, the unit is able to deliver with all the electronic controls uh, power to the grid. Located right in the community, this battery system helps stabilize the grid. It helps grid assets last longer and it makes renewable energy systems around it more effective. Pizzero explains. So when the sun comes out uh, and, it's, uh, and the power is not needed uh, in the community center on the grid, uh, it will store the power into the batteries and vice versa when, uh, um, uh, when power is needed uh, it could do the opposite. So for example it can store energy from the solar, grid, uh, from the solar panels and then, uh, and then when it's needed, let's say when people come home at night and the sun is not shiny or it's cloudy, power from the batteries will, get, will go into the grid. So it works as a shock absorber, it works when, when demand is needed. These community energy systems can power 20 to 50 houses for short periods of time. The project is the first of its kind in Canada and they're planning on building two more. Cam Carver is the CEO of Temporal Power and they're building a very different new energy storage technology, a 9,000 pound wheel of steel that can also store energy. So a flywheel is essentially a mechanical battery that stores kinetic energy. And what we're doing is we're storing energy in a very heavy, fast spinning wheel of solid steel. So where did it start? I understand you have some, you have the evolution of the flywheel right behind you here. I do. So uh, the first version of the flywheel was actually a desktop prototype that uh, in, the inventor Jeffrey Valtteri uh, made in 2009. And so what we have here is a solid steel flywheel that uh, is being levitated by a fully uh, permanent magnetic bearing system. It's able to store efficient, uh, energy efficiently over, uh, over long periods of time. From this lab bench version, Carver and inventor Jeff Valtry scaled the flywheel up three more times. And here we're at uh, what is the world's highest energy, highest performance flywheel energy storage system. And this is, uh, I'm a pretty tall guy, I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but this is you know, almost seven feet high, uh, weighs about 9,000 pounds and uh, stores uh, 50 kilowatt hours of energy, about the same as two Chevy volts. The large flywheel can store excess energy when the sun shines and release it when the sun goes behind the clouds. Essentially, you have a massive floating cylinder of steel turning in a vacuum tube. But how does it work? So the system really acts like a shock absorber. And what it's doing is when there's excess power, it's spinning up and absorbing that energy and then putting it back on the grid when there's a deficiency of, of, of energy. And by doing that, it helps stabilize the electrical grid. There's that shock absorber analogy again. Carver says that storage systems can help the grid in many ways, but a very important one is to support more renewable energy such as wind and solar on the grid. Because wind and solar power are intermittent in nature, you need something to help buffer out uh, the, the, the power uh, turning on and off as, uh, as clouds roll over solar plants and as, as, uh, as gusts of wind come by wind farms. Once the electricity grid is getting about 20% of its electricity from renewable energy, you need energy balancing. What you find uh, on isolated grids, for example, where you get high levels of, of renewables very, <clears throat> very quickly, that they require this type of uh, energy storage in order to operate the grid st uh, stably and allow them to get up to 
you know, 30, 40, 50, <clears throat> 60 percent renewables. And that's, uh, and, and I think you can take it even higher than that. Temporal Power is installing two larger scale systems in Ontario right now. Uh, one is a five megawatt system, and that one's in southwest Ontario. And that's providing power quality on a distribution line where there's uh, quite a lot of wind. The other is providing energy balancing to the Ontario power system through the uh, system operator here. For eCamion and Temporal Power, getting energy storage right could net a really big prize. According to Lux Research, the global energy storage market will grow from 200 million in 2012 to an 11 billion dollar business by 2017. To learn more about energy storage, visit our website at greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got photos, a blog, and a podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.